hi guys welcome back to another video today you join me here again with bmw park lane i've just come inside and i'm just waiting for the cars to be ready but i thought i'd show you around this bmw m3 in possibly one of the favorite colors of mine now now that i've seen it look at this loaded with carbon carbon roof Yeah, this is my new favourite colour for this car. There's also an M4 in a very, like, deep red. Don't actually know what colour this one is. Again, fully loaded with carbon. Take some uh, photos of these from the showroom. And then a, a satin black. What is this? X6. Not sure what I make of the red. So yeah, so basically I'll be taking out, there's four cars this time, there's two minis and there's a red M3 or 4, I can't remember, but I've got my GoPro again and I'm going to be taking you along the journey, photographing around London, some nice exciting spots and the weather is exactly how I want it as well. I'm really happy about that. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So we might as well make a start doing some photos of this because that colour is actually insane oh, I can't get like a full shot of it but I can like this though but I don't really like shots from this sort of angle looks a bit too close this colour I hope it comes off well on camera because like, just look at it. Yeah, that looks sick. Right, I think we are ready to go as well. So let's head out. Oh, the interior as well. Oh, very nice. It's old Porsche. I'm not really that great on the names of the Porsches, like especially the older ones, but I appreciate it. What is that? I can't even zoom in that far, but yeah, look at that, that's pretty cool. Oh, and I'll just quickly show you. This is the BMW that we're taking out today. We've got that, there's some minis over there that we're taking, and the electric i4. But this is the one that I've uh, got the pleasure of riding in. Yeah, this is a really nice colour. You can't really see it on camera because it's quite dark. But, the colour of it is very nice and it'll look really nice, especially on today because it's nice and cloudy and it's not too bright, so it's like perfect conditions for photographing. Yeah, so this is what we are going out in today. Let's go and get into today's video with the, well, this is obviously going to be my favourite. We've got, like I said, the electrical stuff, but like, yeah, that's it. So we're just putting it into position now. I'm gonna put it down there and get some shots of it in here whilst I can. Just need to change my... Get a nice one from the back as well. <laughs> Be about a mil that, wasn't it? <laughs> that shot looks so good. <laughs> oh yeah.
Oh, look at that. Yeah, that looks sick. Yeah. Very nice. Turn it off. What's it? Yeah. <laughs> The brakes are a lot bigger as well than what I thought. You know, on these? They are actually. I don't think they're going to be that big. <laughs> With the blue start button as well, that's cool. I think for this one, I'm just going to get one more detailed shot of like the wheel and stuff. It sounds so weird because you can't actually hear anything. A little bit more. I'm expecting to hear like a sound with it, but there's nothing that comes through. But yeah, to be fair, it looks quite nice. That's what I wanted. So the uh, post guys just walked right close to it and knocked it. Yeah, literally. What? But like anything for the shot, I suppose. Right, and now to spin the wheel. Yeah, 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 you good. What's that? <laughs> I like the black badge. I know. It's nice. It's really, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, it's got the black bit too. It's oh, does it? Difference. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it's like it's aftermarket, but yeah. from factory. I saw what you. It looks like orange when it's it does, out in this light. Yeah, yeah. Can't really. They get through, I'll get through in a minute. I want you to start on the curb wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that what he said? What did he say? I don't know, I don't know what he said. I said some more. Thanks. Get that, a little, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> you get it all round here, don't you? Yeah. It actually looks really nice on camera. It's good.
Right, so... This colour looks sick. been told that the 2 series is ready um, so I think somebody's gonna go back and get and get that so we can get some photos of that as well because that was the other car that we were supposed to come out with but it wasn't actually here it hasn't been delivered in time so there wasn't the option to take it out but it's finally arrived and we're back it's so loud in London today like Everything seems like really, really, really loud. But to be fair, I can't remember if I said already, but the brake calipers on these are huge. Not brake calipers, well, even the discs. Like, look at that actual size of that. That's massive. <laughs> you can never hear this one come in at all. You can see it, but you just can't hear it. M50 i4. Yeah, that um, M4 sounds sick. I'm be taking a uh, quick video of it. They're on. Dog. <laughs> Cute. Should have really got him to bring in the wheel. Oh well. Take some more landscape photos. Right. I think it looks better there like that. Can't tell if got a fly on the screen. This spot we've actually never been to before and it is really nice like with the scenery and stuff around yeah i'm kind of glad we came back down here but the two series has just arrived so we're going to go back up and shoot that now so this is the new two series that they brought out and it's got all the m performance parts you see all the carbon literally everywhere to be honest look at the diffuser as well and the side skirts interior on these new ones is sick Oh, I've got even the front splitter as well. Um, 
yeah, that's the fuzz that I'm in. And stop. Yeah, to be fair, it looks thick, actually. That colour as well. Is this one Brooklyn grey as well? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same as the M4 we took out last time. Yeah, it's a really nice colour. Yeah, it is. Especially with all the carbon on it. I wouldn't have expected, like, all uh, carbon on this. It's had, it's got, it's had loads of M4 accessories on it. Yeah. So yeah, all, all of this. the splitter, the side skirt, the diffuser, yeah, it's got spoiler. All that. So that, it literally just came back from our workshop to have it all added in. I think it looks quite nice to be honest. Look at that. It looks quite blue on here. I, mean, I think I just need to change the white balance actually. And Mr. Businessman would walk right. To be fair, it looks quite cool actually when somebody's there. To be fair, from the front, you would think it looks like the new 240i. Right, now, detail shots. I think this looks sick with all the carbon on it. Right, so we're getting the 220i, I think it was, that's all, here, and then the M4 as well. So, let me just get this, because it's actually really nice. Spin it this way, and then come towards me. Yeah, perfect. Are we good? Like in the middle here, sort of like straight, like that. Yeah. So the front, like that. Yeah. Let me let me just see how it looks. Yes, please. Absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. No, you want me to pick up the photos? No. I've seen worse. Really? I've seen ten times more. To be fair, now that I've seen the new two series in person, it's a lot nicer than like the photos that you'd seen online. I mean, it's not the 240i, it's just the 220i, but it's got all the kit on it. I think it looks really nice.
the back has definitely grown on me. Yeah, I like that. Especially with all the carbon, I think I'd have to spec it with all that carbon, but you can imagine that's a lot. Now, we're doing this. Never photographed a bike before. It's the lights, they look so evil. Yeah. So we've just wrapped up things here with BMW Park Lane. We've literally just got back uh, from taking out the cars, some a nice fleet of cars, and we managed to take a bike and also bring the new 2 Series out, which we didn't think we were going to bring out. We're in front of the M4 competition again and the X6. Um, but yeah, what a really good day. The weather was perfect, exactly how I wanted it for shooting in those perfect conditions. Unfortunately, some of the locations were a bit hit and miss because of like work that was going on. But nevertheless, we managed to get everything sorted. But yeah, thank you again to the guys and I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes footage and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the photos look like. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.